What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about Nintendo. Nintendo has sold 9.5 million Wii U's and I'm pretty shocked, you know, I'm pretty amazed that they've, they've come through and, and hit that number because I remember when the PS4 was released, they only had about 4 million sold and it was kind of, you know, a daunting situation for them. I thought that once the PS4 dropped, everything stopped, you know, and, and Sony's, they've, they've hit almost 23 million PS4 sold, so everybody and their mother is buying these things. I got two of them, I know I got friends with two of them, and I think it's really the king of this generation, but Nintendo hits 9.5 million Wii sold. So what kind of voodoo are they doing to get these sales? I don't know, but they're selling. And, and disclaimer, you guys see I'm playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on PS4. Uh, I will not have any Nintendo footage in this video because I actually got copyright strikes uh, from Nintendo, I got four or five of them in one day, and it's because Nintendo has this new thing where if you're not partnered with them and you release Nintendo footage, they're going to hit you with a copyright strike uh, and not allow you to monetize your videos because they want 60% of whatever you know revenue that you're generating with their video game footage. And I'm not really the kind of guy to debate whether or not that's ethical. You know, uh, I really don't care if people think it's ethical or not. You know, personally. I just think it's stupid. I think it's really, really, really fucking stupid to uh, disable a free advertising campaign. I mean, you it's a free advertising campaign. There are YouTubers who do nothing but Nintendo, you know, and who are already contracted with partners on, on, on YouTube, and they can't just unpartner from who they would and partner with Nintendo, and so now they can't upload any videos, and they can't continue this free, free, I emphasize free, advertising campaign. You know, there are people out there who play Nintendo games and love them and, and think that, you know, Nintendo is the best thing since sliced bread. And they play these games and they uh, they talk about how great they are and they show them off. And there are people who watch these videos and say, wow, that is pretty fucking amazing. Let me go pick up a Wii U. But Nintendo says, hey, if you, if you don't give us 60% of your money, you want 60. And if you don't partner with us, you can't show the footage. And so now people are not putting Nintendo footage on their channels anymore. And unfortunately, I'm one of them. And I happen to love my my Nintendo. You know, I got Mario in my bedroom on my wall, a big plushie. He watches everything that happens on my bed. You know, that's how much trust I have with Mario. But unfortunately, Mario does not trust me. And so there won't be any Nintendo footage until maybe Nintendo changes this whole uh, campaign to limit people advertising free Nintendo shit. But getting back to the story, uh, Wii U has reached 9.5 million sold and they revealed their best games. There's an article on GameSpot.com uh, and it says, as part of Nintendo's rosy earnings report today, the company also announced a new lifetime Wii U system sale figure and updated its list of best-selling games for the console. After selling 3.38 million systems during Nintendo's latest fiscal year, the Wii U has now sold 9.54 million systems worldwide as of March 31st. By comparison, the current market leader, Sony, their PlayStation has shipped 22.3 million units. So, Sony, like I said, they are destroying the world with PlayStation 4. In terms of software, though, Nintendo has a handful of games that have sold more than a million copies. Leading the pack is Mario Kart 8, which has eclipsed 5 million units sold since its release in May of 2014. So that, that is really, really fucking good. 5 million sold in one year of any game is a really phenomenal feat. Uh, and it happened to be Mario Kart. Now here's a list of their top selling Wii U games um, and these figures are accurate as of March 31st and they do include bundles uh, and digital copies so that that is a big caveat there. Number one is Mario Kart 8 which sold 5.11 million okay and then you got New Mario Brothers U which got 4.8 million then Nintendo Land which I have no idea even existed uh, it sold 4.68 million. Super Mario 3D World hit 4.10 million. Smash Brothers Wii U, 3.65 million. New Super Luigi U hit 2.25 million. Wii Party U, which is something I never buy, 1.5 million. And The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD hit 1.52 million. All right, so these games to me, aren't like amazing games. You know, other than the one I have no idea even existed in Nintendo Land, I pretty much know what everything else is and I actually own a few of these. 
Nintendo has got to, in my opinion, my humble opinion, do something uh, as far as creating new and engaging IPs. You know, everybody knows about, you know, Metroid. We all know about The Legend of Zelda. We all know about Donkey Kong. We all know about Mario. We all know about Kid Icarus. We, we know about Nintendo's classics, and Nintendo always banks on them. But Nintendo needs to find a way to create new classics. And I mean, I don't think they should focus all on new IPs, but I think they need to find a way to every generation create new two new classic games that can fall right in line with these greats, like with Link, with Mario, with Samus, with Donkey Kong. They need to create something else along that vein for the new gamers. And they also gotta create something that's going to be appealing to the people my age, 35, who grew up with Nintendo and grew away from Nintendo. And once Nintendo stayed in that, that kid zone, we grew up and then PlayStations came out and you know Xboxes came out and they catered more to the adult gamer with more violence and, and adult themed stories uh, you know and, and language and I think Nintendo is kind of sticking a little too close to the uh, to what made them popular what made them successful instead of they got money Nintendo has tons of money they they can take chances they can literally afford to fail numerous times and I mean I'm really happy to see that the Wii U's hit 10 million units. I don't think that it'll do much more than that, though. I mean, at this point, people are really excited about, you know, the new Legend of Zelda game. There's a few new games that people know are being created, you know, Star Fox. But I want Nintendo to go out on the limb and say, hey, look, this is a new IP. This is for the adults. Bam. Here's a new IP that's for the kids. I want them to do that and I want them to be successful. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to hit that like button and show your support. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.